You've been mentioning the word mobility several times in the first you know, few, few minutes of our conversation. That often falls by the wayside when, when people go to the gym, especially if they're busy and they don't have a lot of time. Why do you think that people should prioritize mobility when they're going to the gym? When we look at mobility and being able to lift properly, you want full range of motion. We're not talking about stretching. We're trying to get into the joint and the joint capsules themselves to be able to get triple extension so that your ankles, your knees, your hips all working together to get into the depth of a squat without compromising how you're moving. And people will go and they won't warm up properly. They don't do mobility and their form is off. And that's how we get injured. So if you spend five minutes really making sure that you can get into all those corners of those joints and be able to move properly in that pattern that you're going into work, then you are definitely reducing injury. You're also improving the technique that you're working and you start to see better gains and feel better. What would you say are maybe three or four of your favorite mobility exercises that are pretty simple for people to do that if they want to start to implement these at the gym? they can do so before going into a lifting session? Yeah, banded hamstring stretch. So it's a thicker band that's wrapped around the rig and it distracts your hip as you step forward to do a hamstring stretch. You can do banded pigeon. Also taking a, a kettlebell and sitting into a deep go goblet squat and getting into each corner. So you're moving in e each corner. Those tend to open up the hips and the lower back and the hamstrings to get into really good posterior and squat movements. When I asked you what people's workout routine should look like in the gym, you asked me what age are we talking about? Why did you ask me that? And how should people's workout programs change as they get older? Yeah. So if we're looking at women who are 35 and younger, well, I should preface that like after you go through puberty, so you're 20 to 35. Your body's really resilient and very adaptable. So you can play around with sets, reps, periodization, types of training that you're doing. If you have 40 minutes in the gym, maybe you are doing supersets and compound movements and then finishing with some sprint work. But if you're younger than 20 and going in through puberty, we have to look at functional movement because motor patterns and everything need to be redeveloped with the biomechanical changes that occur in puberty. And then when we get into peri and postmenopause, we have to be very specific because of the ratio of estrogen progesterone changing. We need to find an external stress that's going to create adaptive responses in the body the way those hormones used to support. So this is why we look at the power-based stuff because that becomes a central nervous system drive rather than a peripheral or localized drive.